exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, that uh, severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect until 7 o'clock has been canceled by the National Weather Service. This is what the regional satellite radar looked around 1 o'clock. Look at all the thunderstorm activity off to the west, continuing to move north and east throughout the area. And it did a little bit of damage across our viewing area. Greencastle had about 60 mile per hour winds. Also, some tree limbs were down, power outages, as well as into Memphis and Eldon, Iowa. Strong winds were also uh, felt in Lancaster. And just before 5 o'clock, I did have someone Facebook message me and say that the Walmart in Fairfield was closed due to no electricity. I don't know if they're still closed right now, but if you are thinking about going to Walmart in Fairfield, you might want to call ahead just in case. Uh, so again, we do have a chance for some more showers and thunderstorms continuing as we're heading into the overnight as well as tomorrow. Right now, 78 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the south-southeast at 8 miles per hour. Dew point 70 and relative humidity levels at 76 percent. At Tom West, 71 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Winds are out of the southeast at 6 miles per hour. Dew point 66 and relative humidity levels at 84 percent. 80 degrees in Macon, 79 in Milan, as well as Centerville, and Fairfield coming in at 70 degrees, a little bit cooler because of the, the storm systems that moved through. 72 as your overnight low. Again, we do have about a 20 to 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms. Winds are out of the south at 10 miles per hour. Also, this nice warm front is going to continue to stay with us. In fact, we're going to see temperatures in the lower 90s and with the heat index is going to feel like it's 102 degrees for tomorrow. This trailing cold front as we're heading throughout the day on Tuesday late afternoon and tomorrow night. Uh, we could see some more showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe. In fact, the, the Storm Prediction Center does have our viewing area and a slight risk of severe weather for tomorrow. So again, uh, we could see a little bit of a repeat as we had for today as that system continues to move off to the east. Here's the future cast again about 4 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. Some showers and thunderstorms continuing as we're heading into tomorrow night and early into Wednesday as well. So about a 20 to 30 percent chance. Community calendar event for tomorrow. Dig into reading. Creepy Crawlies with the Grout Museum at the Knights of Columbus Hall. That's going on in Ottumwa starting at 10:30, 82 degrees with partly sunny skies. And then we're going to see temperatures soar into the lower 90s, 91 degrees. Again, heat index around 102 with a chance for some pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds 10 to 20 with gusts near 30 miles per hour. So it is also going to be very windy, 74 degrees for tomorrow night. Again, with a slight chance of a pop-up thunderstorm. Southwest winds 10 to 15 with gusts near 25 miles per hour. And as we're heading into Wednesday as well as Thursday, temperatures once again in the lower 90s. Overnight lows into the low 70s and another chance for showers and thunderstorms late Thursday night. And that's actually going to give us a little bit of relief as far as the temperatures. 86 Friday, 81 on Sunday. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at HeartlandConnection.com. Hot and stormy. That's right. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Coming up.